All right, joining the Air Force with a GED. Now I have many friends that did this process. I've also seen it myself. Basically, the score you will need is a 65 and above, I believe, if you have a GED. We're not talking about high school diploma applicants on this one. This is just strictly for uh, GED holders. If you have a GED and you're trying to join the United States Air Force, the minimum qualifying score I believe you will need is a 65 and above. It's either a 60 or a 65, but if I was you, I would try to get a 75 or 80. Why not? Just score the best you can. Now, the Air Force requirements for people that have a GED is a little higher than the rest of the branches for certain reasons. I don't have those specific reasons, but I mean, it's, it's the Air Force, you know how they are. So, just study. If it takes you three months, four months, why not? You got somewhere that you want to be. Knock that shit out, study it, and then you're good to go. I don't have any resource material that you should study. Like I said on my Army video, I just pretty much learn math off of YouTube. If you need help with reading comprehension, YouTube can help you with that. There's also different types of websites you can go on that'll tutor you in the subject, but I did everything free, which I said I would advise you to do. You ain't got to pay no money to learn the stuff. You learn all this stuff in high school. It's pretty much algebra, pre-algebra, which is decimals, multiplication, adding, subtracting, division, all that fun stuff. And if you forgot about it, it's no big deal. Like, just take the time to learn it. Study um, study for like two, three months if you have to. And then you're good to go. But once again, the minimum qualification score to join the Air Force would be a 60 or a 65. Sometimes they change it, but it might be a 65. But just try to get a 70 on there. You can do it. A lot of people that go in the Air Force, they score high anyway. So I think you should be good. But yeah, this is Swayro. I just wanted to drop that knowledge on you. Maybe you didn't know this. Maybe you did. But there's a lot of people out there who always wanted to join the Air Force. And they thought they couldn't. And like I said in my other video, don't think you're not good enough. Because a lot of people think they're not good enough to join the Air Force. And then they join another branch. And then they f figure out that they could have joined the Air Force. And they'd be like, God damn, I could have done this. I could have done that. We all do it. It's a, it's a military thing. We, we all say, damn, I could have joined this branch. I could have joined that branch. It's just a, it's just a vicious circle, man. <laughs> but anyway, uh, stay focused, grind, and you can do it. Anything is possible, bro. One thing I learned from being in the military is that being successful is conducive to being. One thing that I learned in the military is that being successful is conducive to discipline. Discipline is conducive to becoming successful. And that's very true. This is Swayro signing off. Y'all have a good one. Oh yeah. Also, I forgot to tell y'all that the Air Force has to be accepting GED applicants. Well, duh, but they have to meet their quota. So, they have certain slots for GED applicants. So when you go there, make sure you ask them, like, uh, do you have any slots for GED applicants? And they'll let you know. But just go in there and do your best, bro. Like, don't go in there thinking, oh, I have a GED. I ain't shit. Blah, blah, blah. It's not even like that, bro. Trust me. Just go in there and do your fucking best. Because at the end of the day, you got to remember, if you're going in there to test for the Air Force, and you score super duper high, and those motherfuckers don't wanna take you, you got every other branch after that. So that's exactly how you have to look at it. So go in there, try for the Air Force. If you don't get in, there's always the Army, Navy, and probably Marines. So keep that in mind. All right, peace.